Hello and welcome to Winter Challenge. Um, today we're going to do a more calm activity, but it might be a bit more frustrating. So it's called Boldy to Go. Um, and you're going to need some paper, one piece, maybe more. I needed more because I got it wrong. And scissors. Um, and some colouring pens. Um, you could use pencils. Um, it's probably better to use pencils. Um, I am working on a table. You might want to, that, I think that's a good idea for you as well, and you might want to put something over that like an old newspaper just to protect the table. Okay, so I'm going to show you where you can get all the information for this activity. So it's on scouts.org.uk and then you search in the search box to Foldy Go and that should bring you to a page with all the information. So it should be this page here and then here you can see the link download. You need to click on that and we'll be following these instructions. So have that on your screen, have it on your phone next to you or print it out um, to help you. Okay, so our first challenge is we need to make our rectangle A4 piece of paper square. So, it's what you need to do is take a corner and fold it until it reaches the top of the paper. Fold it along that line. Then I'm going to use a pencil to draw along draw along here. Now, we don't need that fold. That was just to guide us to make the square. Now that line you've drawn, you can cut along there. The adults should have the scissors, so we're going to have to ask the adults for the scissors and maybe they'll decide to actually do this bit as well. So now we have a square piece of paper. I'm going to get the instructions up on my phone, so bear with me. So this next bit, the folding bit, can be quite frustrating. This was my first attempt, which was okay, but um, took me quite a long time and quite a few attempts. So please stick with it. If you're feeling a bit frustrated, um, we'll get there eventually. Um, so I've decided to have the instructions up on my phone so that to make it a bit easier for me. You might decide to do that or you might decide to print them out or you might be able to have it on your screen. OK. So first thing we need to do is fold it into quarters. So fold the paper into half. And then into quarters. Like that. So it's being half and quarters. Now, if you look at this line here, this middle line, we actually want to be a little bit off centre to that line. So we need to fold it again, but maybe a centimetre. So you should end up with a bit of a diff different length here. Now we're going to flip it over onto its back and we've got our centre line here that we're going to use as a guide and we're going to fold in towards that on both sides. 
So for the first fold, we go towards that. For the second fold, we want to overlap that a little bit. We want to overlap that first fold a little bit. So can you see there what I'm doing? I'm overlapping a little bit. Okay, now we want to fold this each side out diagonally. So this way. And this will soon become an arm, believe it or not. So once we've got them both folded out diagonally and nice and flat, we want to fold this bit here. Remember we folded a little bit over, we folded off a bit unevenly, so we should have a little bit sticking up. We want to fold that down and in here. So you might need to open things up a little bit to be able to do that. Pulled it down and then took it in. So it should look a little bit like this. Mine's a little bit messy. Yours might be more messy or it might be tidier. It's fine. Because um, we're, we're going to flip it over. And generally we have a little fold here, we can just see a faint line of a fold along here. You want to cut about a centimetre down with the scissors. So if you're getting an adult to do it, maybe you could draw it on so you can tell them exactly where you want it to be and you're just asking them to cut along your line. Okay. Now we open that out. Now, I wonder if you can see the outline of a shirt. So, you've got your arms here. This is your collar. This is your big shirt. So now you should have a shirt shape like this. So an arm, an arm, and this is the color of your shirt. And we're gonna get use this to get as creative as we want to draw our scout shirt. Now you can draw your own scout shirt or you can get onto Google and look at some scout shirts from around the world. Um, you could look at the American scout shirt, you could look at the Japanese scout shirt, because this is a Japanese um, activity kind of you know it's a Japanese based activity we're doing here it's origami um, or you could look at a Swedish or Norway there's lots and lots of scout uniforms you can look at from all over the world also different scout uniforms in the UK We've got sea scout uniforms um, you might want to look out if you you know if you're not a sea scout that might be interesting to you or if you are so I'm gonna let you get as creative as you want and I'm gonna do a little drawing as a demonstration so I'm going to draw, most scouts have a, a world membership badge here, so I'm going to draw that here. Most, all scouts wear neckers, so I'm going to draw a necker. I've got a woggle there, my necker. Now I want my necker to be red and green.
And the scout badge is usually purple. So this is my one. Now, I think you could do better. You could include some badges maybe that you have or that you would like to have in the future on the arm or some badges you might have here or here. And you could look at that on the Scout website as well. So people in Japan have been doing origami for hundreds of years. It's a, it's a traditional pastime um, that is meant to relieve stress. Now, I found my first one quite stressful, so that might be hard to believe for some people because um, it can be difficult to master the complex designs. So have a think about how this activity made you feel. Um, did you find it frustrating that when the design wouldn't go well or when you couldn't follow the folds? Um, and then how did it feel you know, if you repeated it a second time and it went a bit better? So my second one did actually go a little bit better because I understood the folds a bit better after reading them and looking at them. Um, so I felt a little bit better second time. Also try and think about, did you find it easier to follow the instructions that were the diagram or did you like reading them? Um, just to kind of get to know, know yourself a little bit better. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that activity um, and I shall see you soon for more Winter Challenge activities. Uh, if you enjoyed this activity, you could look online uh, for other origami challenges. There are plenty of simpler or trickier ones with lots of pictures and instructions on the internet. Also, if you're finding it really tricky and fiddly to fold the paper, um, you could use a larger sheet of paper to make that easier for you or for your young, your young people. <laughs>